And so in some ways, it's kind of like uh, the narcissist brain does that first step. So somebody is, is, you know, that same situation, the friend is talking about their terrible boss, how stressful that is. And the narcissist brain can pick that up and identify, at least in the ACC, the first area, that that person is in distress and that's what they're expressing. But then connecting that information over to the medial prefrontal cortex in order to then ask, how would I feel? And then respond appropriately relative to the answer to that question. That is weaker. And so it's not that the narcissist has the inability to experience somebody else's emotions or experience that the other person's having an emotion and what that emotion is. It really is about that then connecting to the centers of the brain that would naturally, if everything was connected properly, roll into an empathetic response, that question of how would I feel, and then the response part being, what I would say to the me that is experiencing that thing. That's sort of like a crude example of how it works in the narcissist brain.